And that one's pretty good. So Lightflow was able to work with my phone. And since my phone has a Xenon flash, it can actually use the the AF LED, which is red. So that one was that one was good. I was glad that it worked. Developer options. This was one of the interesting things. Since I'm not a developer, I'm only a only a user. Let's see. It has a flash screen when when it uses long operations. I don't know. Pointer location. This one's interesting. So on the top. It has all the X and Y coordinates, and then you can see where it shows where it is. The good thing about it is that it has true multi-touch, where you can see there's two. And let's see, next one, showing touch. So this is like for demos. Also, I also really like it, so you can see like the the circle thing here. And you can also check out the lag, as you can see. Right here. Like I always try to put push the phone to to its limits, and it's been uh, it's been it's been okay, but after a while, it really it's really it really has some problems keeping up. Screen update, CPU usage. So there it is. It shows like the processes that are running, and force GPU rendering. Animations are all turned off, and this one's interesting too. You can uh, change the process limit, although it's also hard for me to choose because I'm not sure how many that are needed to be running. Like sometimes, even when I try to keep three, my music player would get killed because of that. So that was a problem. Okay, next. Another thing that's different from uh, CM7 because of this launcher, I can't change the apps, how they look like, the icons. Normally this would be another icon because I don't like their icon. And um, yeah, there's not much editing you can do. As you can see here, normally it would have a few things like edit, remove, uh, properties, that kind of stuff, but then here you can't do it. And let's see, one of the good things about this launcher is that uh, if you want to uninstall something, this is already mentioned, I'm just saying this anyways. If you want to uninstall something, you can just drag it and then click and then move it to uninstall. Instead of having to go to um, to the settings and uninstall it yourself. Other programs I have with running this uh, ROM is Titanium Backup so then I can keep everything, um, everything backed up and running. And yeah. I'll run auto killer that's been mentioned before and it's weird like the flash here works but somehow it still can't um, work the it still can't work um, the camera itself so that was a problem I wish I wish the camera would work because then if it worked then this would be this run would be close to a uh, completion but it can't Let's see Next thing is calls. So this is the new um, the new interface, which is pretty good. See, as you can see, there is a these are contacts, right? And then um, the weird thing is that there's also this people app, which has all these um, contacts and so on. So I don't I don't know. Uh, it was different from before. One thing that I don't like about the new messaging app is that uh, it turns out that I can't switch it to a black overlay out, so it has to be um, white all the time. But I wish that it was. I wanted it to be uh, black, so then it would conserve battery. It also has the swipe um, to delete function, which I can demo for you. Let's see, I'll just back up something here for fun to show the swiping. There are, there are basically two ways to cancel notifications here. Let's see. Okay. Yep, there we go. So one way to do it is to press the X and the other way is to um swipe it away. So let's see. So 
So you can do this. Let's see. Wait, sorry. You can swipe it that way or that way. But yeah, basically you can you can just uh, get rid of them like that. And the ones that are constant, they're like this. The only reason why I'm using Battery Defender is that it has a nice simple uh, logo on on here. But I don't really use anything else for that. And yeah, so this is the CM9 with the Android 4.0. I have to say, if for me, it took me a while to tweak it so that it would work uh, to to my favor. Like because honestly, the stock ROM, which is 2.1 here, is is still the most stable. Mainly because this phone wasn't it, it has a lot of problems trying to process all this uh, animations and stuff, but uh, yeah, hopefully it's already getting it's already the smoothest that I can make it. So yeah. The overall skin is something that I really like about the about this new um, this new version. Now the only thing is to iron out the bugs which are left. I want, I don't know when they're gonna do it, but hopefully it will get there. So that's about it. All right, thank you for watching. This is Android user showing you the new Android 4.0.3 and.